Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Analogy Lab. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to build an option chain just like the way I have it set up on Thinkorswim. And I will also be explaining to you how I use the components of that option chain to determine which contract is appropriate for me to buy. So stay tuned. Now, before we begin, um, if you're new to this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button below and also hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when I release new videos. And it also allows YouTube to show these videos to more people so that they can get this knowledge as well. All right, everybody, this right here is Microsoft and this was from Friday. As you can see, there's an opportunity right here to make money on the way up, right? And to also make money on the way down, all right? If you were interested in buying calls or put options on this one, what you can do now is go on the trade tab. And this is exactly how I have mine set up. And this is what we're going to be talking about today. Okay. So what you can see here, I have the, um, the level two for each of these individual contracts, along with a chart right here, where I can actually copy and paste the code for any of these contracts right in here. For example, here's what I do. When I see a contract that I like, I do right click. And then I do copy. This is the code right here. It gives you the ticker, right? You gotta put a period first. So period, ticker, and then the expiration date. The C right here stands for a call. And then this right here is the strike price, which is $177.5, okay? So I'm gonna copy that. And again, this is the strike price right here. We're gonna go up and then we're gonna paste that in here. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, you can literally see what's going on in here. What's going on with that specific contract. And you can see the bid and the ask for that specific contract too. Unfortunately, Thinkorswim will not make this thing bigger. I've tried for months to try to figure that out. But yeah, this is a size that I usually work with. And honestly, I think this is, this is more than enough, especially that you can do the same thing over here and you can paste the code here too. To see exactly what's going on so yeah you can do it both ways let's go back to the trade tab let's do a very brief demonstration of how to actually execute this trade right here with this call okay so this is what i used to do and i still do right here when i want to practice what you can do is go all the way up here you can see this is the on-demand feature and this is really really nice for you beginners who are trying to practice with fake money what you can do is click on that now this is the on-demand feature. As you can see, there's a big box, right? And there's a thing at the, at the very corner that says on-demand. And right here, they give you, Thinkorswim gives you fake money to practice with, okay? Thinkorswim usually gives you 100,000 to practice with, but I like to reduce it to an amount that I usually start off, grow, and then do it again, rent to repeat, okay? So again, we're gonna use this fake money and we're gonna do a practice run of how to actually execute a trade. For the sake of practice, we're just gonna go over here and then change the date to April 24, which is Friday. And then we're gonna change that to uh, 10, 35. Okay. And this is to show you exactly how to execute a call. What you wanna do is click on go. What you wanna do again, you wanna go back here to the trade tab and we're gonna buy this call right here, okay? And as you can see, at that specific time, the price of that call is $3.50. And again, you gotta multiply everything by 100. So what you wanna do is click on it, right? And then this thing will pop up right here, okay? And we're gonna go back to the charts and we're gonna bring that up again. We're gonna hide that because that's irrelevant to us. And let's say that we wanna buy two calls of this, okay? And again, two calls will be exactly $700. I like to keep things at market just because I just want to get filled. You can do limit order, but that may take a while in order to get filled. Okay. So you want to make sure that you have everything here set up at buy and then the amount of contracts that you want. We're going to do two for the sake of practice. And then you want to make sure that the expiration is good. The strike price is good. The call is good. And then market order is good. And, when we're, and then once everything here is set up, you want to do confirm. And yeah, like I said, this is the amount of money that it will cost you around $700. Okay. And since we're buying two contracts, you got to take into account the fees, which is about $1 and 30 cents. Okay. And then to execute the order, all you want to do is just click on send. And then you will see a notification right here that says you bought two contracts for 
$350. You can also see that notification right here too. It says two contracts, right? For $350 each for a total of $700. All right, and since we know exactly where this went, it's gonna go up here, right? In this region. We can just fast forward this by an hour. Again, this is just for the sake of practice, all right? Just for the sake of practice. And then we're gonna see how much that $700 is worth at this region. Go. Let's say you believe that this is the top and it's gonna crumble right after. The next step you wanna do is just simply go over here to the monitor tab, right? And then you wanna go find your order, which is right here. And you wanna do right click and you want to do create a closing order and then sell to Microsoft calls. Okay. You want to click on that and then go back to the charts. Again, you want to bring that up and get rid of this because that is irrelevant to you. And let's say that you want to sell, you want to sell everything right here. All right. Those contracts that you bought for $350 each are now worth $400 each and you're satisfied. So you want to make sure that this is good. You want to sell both contracts the strike price everything is good here market order and you just want to get out of there so again the process is the same you just click confirm and you click send and just like that you made 100 dollars profit this is how i used to do it and i still do it this is how i practice and you can do the same on your spare time too to get better at this for the sake of practice again let's say that you think this is the exact top and then the stock is gonna roll over right and you want to make money on the way back down the process is the same. What you want to do again is go back on the trade tab and then scroll down here and then find the put option that you want to buy. You can choose this one, which is a 370 put. You can click on that one. Again, the process is the same. And then when the stock rolls over, these contracts right here will gain value probably to $400 or 450, just like the calls did on the way up. These ones will make money on the way down. And then when you're done practicing and you want to get rid of this, all you have to do is just click on the on-demand feature again, and then everything gets back to normal. So that is an example of how you practice and how you execute a trade in real time. The process is exactly the same. And what you can do is go on the trade tab. Now, if you're looking to buy a contract that expires, for example, um, in two weeks, like the one right here, you just click on that. And then you scroll down and this is the default setting of the option chain. So the way I have mine set up is by adding some specific things up here, okay? And the way to do that is by clicking on layout and by going on customize right here. The first thing you wanna do is to remove these things right here. You just wanna get rid of them, okay? And then now you can get started. And the one thing that you definitely need on the option chain is volume, okay? And then the next thing that I have on my option chain is open interest. All right, you double click on that. And then the next thing is a uh, probability out of the money. And then um, there's two Greeks that I personally use. I think they're very, very helpful. Um, they're called Delta and then Theta. Yeah, so this is pretty much what I have in these columns. So what you wanna do next is click on OK. After you're done customizing the settings, again, this is what it looks like. And what you want to do next is to make sure you have this thing saved by clicking on here and then click on save as, and then you can just keep this the way it is. That way you know exactly what is included in that specific layout. And then you click on save right there. And then as you can see, they got added in the chain and you got the ask and the bid the theta, the delta, the probability out of the money, the open interest and the volume, all right? And as you can see, like in this region, there is a lot of open interest and volume, which means that there are a lot of people participating in exchanging these contracts in buying and selling. These contracts are very liquid and these are the types of contracts you wanna buy. Now, for those of y'all who don't know how to use the delta to your advantage, it tells you the value that will be added to the price of these contracts as the underlying stock is moving up by a dollar okay so for example let's say that this one is four dollars and 35 cents four dollars and 35 cents all right and every time the stock moves up a dollar for like over here if microsoft moves up by a dollar to 175 and 55 cents 
that means that the value of this contract right here would be increased by $39, okay? And then as it increases, the delta also increases. If the price of Microsoft increases by $2.50 and then this entire column moves up, the delta will also change and the delta would be 45 cents instead of 35 cents. And the same concept applies for the put options, but you can see here the delta is negative. For example, this $160 put, what the delta is telling you is that every time the stock moves up by a dollar, these contracts will lose about $20 in value for every dollar that it moves up. And in the opposite direction, let's say that the stock is moving in your favor and it's collapsing, the value of these contracts would increase by $20 for every dollar that the underlying asset is dropping by. Now let's talk about Theta. Um, I have Theta on the option chain for a very, very good reason. We're gonna use the 180 strike again, all right? And we're gonna look at this. This is Theta right there. Theta represents the time decay on this contract right here. And what Theta is telling you is that if absolutely nothing happens to the price and it just consolidates throughout the entire day, the value of those contracts right here, which was $4.35, will lose exactly $14 by tomorrow. Every day that goes by where the stock doesn't move at all, where it just stays at the same price, those contracts will lose value in theta every single day as it approaches the expiration date. And lastly, the probability out of the money. And what that's pretty much telling you is the percent probability that these contracts specifically will stay out of the money until expiration and will be worth exactly zero dollars and zero cents okay now if you take this one for example the 230 dollar call what it's telling you is that there is a 99.23 percent chance that this contract would expire worthless by may 15. okay that's what this is called Again, this is how I like to have mine set up. I like to keep things very, very simple, very, very clean. And I only keep the Greek values that I use in order for me to determine which contract is appropriate for me to buy for each trade. Again, if you have any questions at all, don't be shy. Definitely put it in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Or I will just make another video about it and explain it thoroughly for you and for everybody else who is watching. Also, if you're new to this channel, definitely follow us on Instagram. I do post the patterns that I spot daily and I do post my entries and my exits on there as well. My name is Paul with Patternology Lab where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see y'all on the next one. Take care.